Does anybody know how to do a do rag? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, guess where we're at? We are at, well, I'll give you a couple clues. First of all, a Mountain Dew mini jet boat. A giant compound perfectly fit for a Florida man. Hell yeah, brother. You do the math. Guess where we're at? We're at old Cleeter McSkeeter's house to have some fun. Let me show you around. He's not here yet. I guess he's out buying Mountain Dews or something. So, Can's already found a pit bike. Those are why we're here today. The Mountain Dew boat is a. Uh, come on. These things are jet boats. They're aluminum jet boats that are designed to just go anywhere, do anything. They're powered by either like a Ski Doo or a Yamaha big jet ski engine. I guess this boat is supposed to be super nice. So this is the one that we're not supposed to be able to hands wiped out. Hands wiped out already. So this is the one that we're not supposed to beat up. So maybe we'll let hands drive this one because he drives like a little boot. Yeah. Should, should we talk about it? I bust my thumb. Hell yeah, bro! This is no entry. Looks like it. I got some on my What's your prediction with Dave operating this thing? <sighs> He'll be fine. She's a troop. Hey, I think we should make that one look really light. No, you need one to a backup competition. <laughs> That's some serious light. Dave Sparks. We don't got old Ronnie Renner coming out to show us the ropes. I would smoke you in a backup competition. Just put it on there. Wait, wait. You even start talking shit like that. Stop! Seriously, stop for a second. We need to talk. Do you like energy? I like energy. Do you like to have a good workout? I love having good workouts. Do you like to build big muscles? Do you like to look good in the gym? Do you like to look good at the pool? Do you like good pre-workout? Well then, you need to listen very closely to what I'm about to say because my best friends, I'm telling you some guys that I grew up with, my dudes have developed a supplement line that is absolutely kicking ass and dominating all over the world. It's called Bucked Up and here it is. I'm telling you, guys, Bucked Up is growing faster than any supplement company in the world and I'm so proud of my homies for making this happen. And the reason it's happening is because they're making kick-ass products. I've talked about them before, and I'll talk about them again. I use this stuff every single day. Well, every single day that I work out. And I'll be honest with you, I've been slacking in the gym lately, but when I do work out, it's bucked up for me. They got pre-workout, they got protein, they got these new energy shots, they got all sorts of awesome stuff and in my opinion, it's pretty much the highest quality on the market. So here's what I need you to do right now. If you're looking for just regular old energy or better pump at the gym or better protein or any of those things I discussed, I got a deal for you. You ready for this? If you click the link in my description below, my buddies over Bucked Up are gonna give you three free sample packs of the pre-workout. This stuff right here, bam. Three, free, like legit, just here you go. They're free, plus, a shaker bottle to mix those sample packs with. Guys, this is a no-brainer. You pay shipping, they give you all this stuff for free. It's like, you can't lose on this deal. And once you try this, I guarantee you're gonna be like, I want that, I want that. I like shots, it's like a shotgun shell, which is actually pretty awesome. So guys, if you click the link in my description below, you're getting three free sample packs, plus a free shaker bottle to mix those sample packs in. You just gotta use the promo code HD20 after clicking the link in my description below. I'm telling you right now, this stuff works, makes you feel better, makes you work out better, and it makes your muscles grow stronger because that's what supplements do. So take action and get bucked up right now because it's free. We 
told Cleeter to take us to the most uh, precarious spot. So there's supposed to be a river, logs, jumps, places where we can dump bad boy on his on his bad head. What? Spot this handy dandy. Too tight, too tight, too tight, too tight. Old hands is ripping his little 50 cc. Went over the handlebars. Hands wiped out. One piece of ice. <laughs> One piece of ice. That's gonna help her real good. You need to put this in the cooler somewhere in a cooling system. You know, it's funny, but we're all actually a little nervous. Hans thinks that he can wrestle a gator. No, no, listen, listen, here's his plan. By simply sticking his fingers in the gator's nostrils and twisting. Whoa, there's a hook. Got a hook. You just hook it. The guy got hurt by a pit bike this morning. <laughs> I got messed up. All right, good point. That's what that said. Is that your, is that your gator hook, man? Can't do it now. The bet's off. Oh, shocker. Hands got hurt. How much pain are you in right now? <laughs> a lot of pain. I put your plug in already, Dave, so you're good. Um, the what stomp grease. This? this is a Cowie 300. No, it's like 165 horse, but it, this is faster than my boat. It's so light. Safe, Captain. All right. Uh, bush boat is the one we want to keep nice, right? This is the one we're keeping nice. All right, this is happening a few times in our day. Did you break check and like told me not to do to you? Just said one thing. He said, We're gonna see a lot of crocodiles. So, if I see a crocodile, hook. Hands will be hooking. Hooking hands. Oh, my thumb hurts. Let her rip, Tater Chip. You guys just get wet with it. It took a little bigger. <laughs> instant. Yeah, you're two big ass dudes in that rig. Yeah. I'm Clear McSkeeter, and you're here in the Floor Eater, where we got alligators <laughs> who will eat <laughs> your beaters. So, mini jet, jet stream, jet stream, jack stand, we ride till dawn. Hello, I'm Heavy D, and I'm gonna follow Cletus until I don't follow him anymore, at which point I'll probably wind up losing him and the other guide, at which point Diesel Dave and I will probably shoot straight for Miami. Probably run out of fuel, and eventually, Peter's gonna have to come find us. So find, what I'm saying is, remember the time he took my jet ski, yeah. or not my jet ski, what'd you take, my rip saw? Yeah. Wandered off into the wilderness. <laughs> Maybe got stuck. Maybe that's a bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey dude, the gators will get you out here. No, I'm telling you. They all you know right me, now. they don't know you. Well, you're you're a meaty dude, we'll you're like we'll a freaking. back riding on the gator. This is something I've been wanting to do for a, who's my camera? Who's, I got, you got right here, right here. Go over to him. It's this Listen. One. This is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. Cletus got into the jet boat world maybe a year, year and a half ago. Uh, has never looked back. He tells me this is the most fun he's ever had. And I just did about a, oh, maybe a 30 second, not even that run. And I'm, I'm well, agreeing with him. The launch ramp's right there. And we're this way, right here. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, right now we're gonna head downstream. How many miles do you think we cover? A lot. Probably, we'll probably go 30, 40 miles today. Hans has committed to wrestle a gator today. Yeah. Um, and did you want to tell him the technique or just surprise him? 
Okay. We yeah. need our we need our do rags. Does anybody know how to do a do rag? You got a pump. Sphincter propeller is connected to this snorkel bubble. Snorkel bubble goes over here to this cooler McFat fizzle. Cooler McFizzle is then connected to the rest of the engine. Uh, then so you're just a wrecking ball. Like I saw you break a tree. But did I break the boat? No, you broke a tree. I'm like, who breaks trees? Wrecking balls. It's like. Cletus McFarland is like the jet boat guy. He knows jet boats just about as good as anybody in the country. I'm not saying he's the pro pro, but he knows these boats. He's built a lot of these boats. Then you got Jack Stan Jimmy over here, who's the real brains behind the operation. He's the guy that fixes the shit when it goes wrong. Yep. Cletus did just do a, a pretty good solid little river fix. And I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted to make it clear that uh, the only boat that hasn't broken yet is the one that I've been driving. And in fact, the only thing that broke was what? What was it? Like a, uh, like a three foot log. You broke a log. The yeah. boat didn't break. The log broke. Huh. Pretty good. Yeah. Most of the times they're old airplane engines with like an airframe prop just pushing. The newer, that's not like an airplane. That's not like an airplane. That was an airplane, yeah. Uh, some of the new ones have like LS motors, badass yeah. motors. You guys have seen them on our vlog before. Next time you come back, we'll set it up. Well, we can go rip some back. I've got some good buddies with airboats down here, actually. So uh, the problem with this river is it's very unpredictable because it's very low right now. In the so, deepest spot. Yeah, literally, it's like a foot deep. Like my boots are about there. Cleaner's got his machine fixed. We're going to baby his back to the trailer. Uh, so after Cletus breaks and Jack Stan gets stuck another 15, 20 times, we'll be back to the You're trailer. Done. And I'm You're done. done. I'm, well, I guess we'll see who's done by the time we finish the trailer. Get the gator. <laughs> I bet I can get stuck one more time. You want to talk about your rig right here, Dave? Yeah. Well, so what we have right here is this is called the uh, the GoPro 14 uh, rig mount. It's more like a, um, a mechanical gimbal. And what this does is, oh, she's still getting a little side to side where you wiggle, so that means we gotta go right like this.
push through this shallow water. The gator infested water. It was clear that we were just doing like 40 miles an hour through. <laughs> right now that driving one of those mini jet boats is hands down one of the most enjoyable things I've ever done. The fact that you can haul ass through one inch deep water, go over sandbars, jump stumps, jump over like land gaps. Guys, this was an absolutely wild experience, which I'm super grateful that Cletus set up for us. So the boats that Cletus runs are made by a company called Jetstream. Jetstream is basically an aluminum kit that you get and you weld together and you assemble it and you put the boat together. They run off of uh, jet ski engines. So whether it be like Sea-Doo, uh, Yamaha, Kawasaki, uh, basically you can put pretty much any engine in these things and they rip. Right now, I have two of the Jetstream boats being built. My boats that are being built are four seaters and we're running the Sea-Doo engines just because we want to be able to swap parts interchangeably. Uh, over 300 horsepower, and super maneuverable. So this opportunity was something that I've been looking forward to for a long time and honestly, it's one that I'll never forget.